Xbox has a lot of things going forward when it comes to the next generation. Even though in the beginning, the generation is going to be very sparse when it comes to first party offerings. Things like Game Pass is going to be something that a lot of people are going to dive into to get their fix on either games they already own or games that they haven't even tried yet. Game Pass will be a pivotal part of Xbox's strategy going into next generation. Phil Spencer on an episode of Drop Frames talked about the viability of Game Pass and how it's going to be stable enough for them to basically push forward with this type of subscription model without it really hurting them in the end. So in this video, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the direction that Xbox is going to be one of the best places to play during the next generations due to the ability to play these games anywhere you want to inside their ecosystem and how Phil Spencer is being head of Xbox is one of the best things that could have ever happened to the Xbox platform. Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? It is your boy Forte and thank you for checking out this video. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody that checks out this video because you guys are the driving force of this channel and I truly appreciate it. But first of all, it's always gonna be about the games. It's always gonna be about the things that we love. So if you love this channel, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and share it with all your friends on social media. And if you wanna take that extra step because you truly love the channel, hit the notification bell because it's gonna let you know that next time all of my videos go live so you don't miss another video so the first thing i want to talk about is the fact that game pass is one of the best services that are out there in gaming people have the ability to try out things that they never thought they would ever try out before due to the fact that they are part of the subscription service i feel like one of the major benefits of game pass is the fact that you just download the game and it's right there on your system and you don't even have to worry about purchasing it that is always going to be an option for you at a later date and it even gives it to you at a discount that is something that a lot of people don't really pay attention to when a game is getting ready to leave game pass you do have the option to buy it right then and there at a 20 percent discount to make sure you're getting the best deal that you can get on that game at that time but let's be for real all of you guys know that game pass is such a valuable piece of what the xbox ecosystem needs right now is something that was made out of necessity because they had to find a way to make their platform even more profitable and game pass just happens to be that vehicle that's going to allow them to propel themselves into the next generation and this is something that phil spencer has been talking about for a long time a lot of people give him a lot of heat but I truly believe he is one of the most important reasons why Xbox is still here. I believe that Xbox would kind of be lost without Phil Spencer being at the head of it. People give him a lot of crap when it comes to the things that have happened over the course of this generation. And definitely some of that does fall on his plate, but it does come at a cost that look, Xbox had a lot of things they needed to fix throughout this generation. And I'm just happy that they're finally making strides to make sure that the next generation is not going to be a repeat of this current generation. Xbox came into this generation with six first party studios, six. And I believe they closed one of them in Lionhead Studios. So they had five at one point. Look where we are now. 23 first party studios. Many of these studios have multiple teams where you can easily see them being somewhere in the 35 to 40 range when it comes to all the different options they have to building games for the next generation. Sure, a lot of these games are very far out. We only know of a handful of them that's gonna be coming out in the next couple of years when it comes to Forza. We know about Halo, we know about Fable. These are a few of the games that we know are coming like Hellblade 2. These are all games that a lot of people are gonna be looking forward to on top of the huge acquisition of Xenobax Media, Bethesda Softworks, $7.5 billion to get games like Dishonored, Doom Eternal, the next Elder Scrolls game, Fallout, and one of the most anticipated games, Starfield. And no one even knows what that game is, but a lot of people are gonna have their eye on the prize when it comes to that game releasing. So one of the things that Phil Spencer said in this interview with Drop Frames, he talked about the viability and stability of Game Pass, like how they are gonna be perfectly fine with the model they have in place. Sure, like he said in this interview, he can't predict what's gonna happen with Game Pass five or six years out. But as of right now, they don't feel like it's a need for them to do anything other than the business model that they have in place 
because they feel like Game Pass is an amazing business model and an amazing value for the people that are a part of this service. And I can definitely agree with that. There are millions of people out there that once they know about this service being a thing, this is gonna be the number one way that a lot of people consume their content. A lot of people cut the cord for cable because things like Netflix and Hulu and all those other streaming services became such a household name. As of right now, Game Pass isn't a household name, but Xbox and Phil Spencer are trying to change that narrative going into this next generation with the brand new systems that they have when it comes to the X, when it comes to all the power and the all digital S that's gonna give you basically the value proposition of saying hey next generation won't cost you an arm and a leg we can get you in for a very cheap price for 299 or if you want to do the subscription model where we can still get you into the ecosystem where you just pay us a small fee of 24 for the s 35 for the x and you're on your way to next generation with something like game pass ultimate included for two years and this is just something that a lot of people are going to really want to sink their teeth into even if there's not a game in there for you right now now, at some point in the future, there will be a game in there. And let's be for real, a lot of people out here look forward to playing new types of games. They're always in the store looking for that next thing that they probably didn't know about. But a lot of people don't want to spend the money because they don't want to spend money on something they may not like. That will go away once Game Pass hits the mainstream and people really truly believe that they have a subscription service that they could always count on to give them something new to play when they don't have anything to play, if that makes sense. But the one thing I I truly love about Phil Spencer is that he's a gamer. He's one of those people that truly loves to play games. The fact that he is always online trying to do the newest and greatest thing in some of these games, doing Twitch streams with people at Xbox that, you know, none of us know, but he just have a casual conversation about destiny and the games that he loves. It's something that a lot of these other corporations, we really don't see and we really don't know because that's the one thing about Phil Spencer. He kind of pulls back the curtain and lets people People see how truly in love with gaming he really is and that's what I love the most about Phil Spencer I just think that he literally opens himself up to let people see the thing that a lot of people probably don't want to see is that he's a true gamer it's not that he's just the head VP of Xbox he's also a person that jumps in these games plays them probably has more gamer score than most of the people in this community that really talk about well Phil Spencer don't know this and he don't know that I challenge a lot of of people to just pay attention to what the man is doing and see how Xbox is definitely a better platform due to the things that he has implemented over the course of this generation and where Xbox would be if he wasn't there to help us make it through those dark times. And it looks like Xbox is coming out the other side. They still got a lot of work, trust me. And even he acknowledged that. They have to prove that they have learned from all the mistakes that they made earlier in this generation. And that's the only way that Xbox is gonna be successful going into the next generation and i think they got the right person at the helm to do just that so with that guys you always know how it goes it really just comes down to what you think how do you think phil spencer has done throughout this generation when it comes to navigating the waters that xbox was in since 2013 i definitely want to hear from you down in the comment section about that i truly appreciate everybody that checked out this video i just wanted to do something different because i watched that interview and it just made me feel like yo xbox is one of the best places to be because there's a person that's in charge of it that definitely feels just like us and i feel like that's the reason i enjoy being on xbox because it's not just about the games the games are very important but the community and the friendships that we have on this system xbox has done a great job in nurturing that ever since 2001 and i just love every bit of it so check out my last video where we talk about the delay of cyber punch which suck but hey things happen and the game's going to come out and when it does come out i think we're going to enjoy it a lot so please check that out and we also got the dps podcast showing up tonight on slow mo backslaps channel please check us out tonight at 9 p.m it's going to be a great time hope to see you all there and have a good week peace